CDL student just sent me a question on Trucker Steve on the YouTube channel. He's attending a CDL school, has 19 students in the class, one, one instructor for the 19. I think when he first started, they had two, but one quit, and they down to just a one instructor. He says, I only get 30 minutes a day. Maybe every other day, I get another 30 minutes. So maybe in a week, he gets just one hour. He's wondering why he can't back up. That's the reason why. Very little road time. There's no instructors. So uh, when he talks to the school, they remind him, oh, by the way, there's no refund. Because naturally, he's not the happiest camper in the world. I don't know about the other 18 students. And, you know, when we chit-chat back and forth, and he says, there's no refund issue. And I said, heck with that. I said, first of all, yes, they have a contract. If you look at the contract, they also have obligations on the contract, too. Under the FMCSA, they got obligations under that that's basically a contract also telling every CDL school that students must be trained to be proficient in all skills. And if, if they set you up for a test, now you got to know if you're a CDL student, once you're set up for a test, if you feel you've been wronged by that CDL school, and you're not proficient, and you didn't get enough road time, didn't get enough uh, range time, etc. Get your records. Go online. Get on the FMCSA website. Get your records. See if the school lied. See if they uh, say, oh yeah, the man had about 12 hours on the road. He had so many hours on the range, etc., etc. Get the records. Then get a lawyer. Or, first, you, you go to the school and see if they'll give you a refund. If they bring up the issues, there's uh, you sign a contract, it's on the contract, no refund. But they have obligations, too. They broke the contract. They supposed to, it's a CEO school. They have obligations with the federal government to make sure you're efficient, to teach certain skills. Now, I'm telling you, if you got one instructor per 19 students, the ratio's wrong, you need to fight back. And get your money back. If you have to get a lawyer, so be it. But just don't sit back and say, well, you know, I can't get my money back. I'll just move on. Pay another $5,000 to another CDL school to get the license. Or pay someone else to get the extra training. Know your rights. Fight for your rights. Stand up for yourself. 